Hey guys, um, so uh, this is sort of a guide on how to flash VESC bootloader with ST-Link V2. Um, but I found out uh, I was able to successfully flash on the working side. Uh, but the side that the t um, torque board motor broke, uh, you can see the blue light doesn't turn on. If the blue light doesn't turn on, um, you can try flashing the bootloader on this side using the VEST tool, right? I've got it, if it's not com it's not the chip, then it will work that way. Um, but this one, I could, I flashed the bootloader here, reflash the firmware, the blue light does not turn on. So I got the ST-Link V2. I've verified it works fine on the uh, first side. Second side, it just doesn't connect. So it's pretty much dead. Um, as far as connecting, you just need uh, this uh, ST link I bought on Amazon. Just comes with uh, four uh, connections. So you connect uh, the the SWDIO. That's the IO. You connect to the IO port, and then um, also ground. You connect it to any ground. You don't have. I, I didn't have enough room. That's actually in the middle ground. But you could connect it to any ground because they're all connected. So connect it to any ground. And also, you'll need to connect RST uh, to RST, right? And also, you'll need to connect um, the SWCLK, right, to CLK. The four art wires are all, uh, all it's needed for power. You can uh, power up using uh, your power supply or your battery. Now, if you have an, uh, this one only came with four wires, that's why I had to power up separately. If you're not using, uh, if you're not powering up your VESC normally, through the power supply line, uh, then you can go ahead and connect 3.3 volts to 3.3 volts uh, on that connector. Um, then you don't need a power supply. But uh, like I said, it only came with four pins, so I had to make it work um, without those wires. So you can do it with four wires. Uh, as far as flashing, um, go ahead and download the, the ST-Link software, um, this here, all right? So the first thing you want to do is connect your ST-Link by itself and do a firmware update and do a device connect and then um, uh, flash the firmware. All right, that will update your ST-Link V2. Once that's uploaded, it's really simple. Uh, go ahead and make the connections correctly. All right, and go ahead and go into settings. And I was able to use hot plug. There's like no reset on hot plug. One of those should work, hit okay. If you have your connections connected correctly, it will connect. Once connected, you just simply go ahead and choose uh, this here. And go ahead and you can flash the uh, like a default, the whole firmware, which doesn't have bootloader. Or you can go ahead and download the firmware, which I did here. Um, this is the firmware for um, for the uh, Flipski 4.20. And hit open, and once open, you just hit uh, full uh, program verify. All right, program verify, and then you can just flash it. That's pretty much it. And you can flash the bootloader and the whole firmware using the SD link. Um, I'll have a process, I'll show you next time uh, exactly how to do it while I do it, but I just want to make a quick video and an update. Uh, the torque board motor definitely just completely fried, I think. my the actual chip here. So the chip itself is not working. If your light does not turn on, you should have at least one blue light. It's pretty much dead. Like I said, you can try flashing using the VEST tool, uh, the bootloader, and the firmware, which I have done and recovered uh, my VEST, but I'm pretty sure torque board motor, um, somehow, you know, something is wrong with it, uh, and it screwed up my VEST. Anyway, have a great day.